Hello and welcome to a new vlog from Ren11, the Porsche inspired all cooled lifestyle hub. I'm Sean Matthews. Today we are going to be going through some new parts that I've accumulated for the 996. But first, it's been a little while since we've last spoken to one another. The Instagram page has grown, even with no videos, the YouTube page has grown as well. So thank you so much for following. At the start of spring, we released our latest collection, the Checkerboard Pass Collection. Two t-shirts plus a beanie. The link to those, if you want to buy one, down below in the description. Anyway, without much further ado, let's talk about some of the things that I've got for the 996. Now, last time we spoke, the last thing you saw me buy were those wonderful BBS F1 Championship LMs, the gold ones from Japan. They still look the business and I can't get enough of how good the car looks on them. I know it polarizes opinion, but let's be honest. We do things to make ourselves better rather than pleasing others. And that's the way it should be. Now, incidentally, last year I was due to have my very first track day with the 996 and it was going to be at Players Classic over at Goodwood. However, COVID got in the way and postponed that event. But that does mean that my ticket carried over to this year and next month, I will be taking the 996 on its maiden track day over at Goodwood. Now, before taking the car to Goodwood, I wanted to ensure a few things. A, the car needed a service to ensure that everything is running optimally. Two, I wanted to also make some minor adjustments to the chassis. The first one I did was over at Northampton Motorsport. Funny enough, in Northamptonshire, where they amended the geometry of my car, adding an extra half hour of negative camber at the front. Since the folks at Centre Gravity looked after me and helped me with the geometry originally on the vehicle, it was great to be able to go to another great local business and did a fantastic job. Already it transformed the car and you could feel a real extra bite in turning. But I'm one of those people that likes to go all in when it comes to making a car work on a specific level, which is why I went and did some research to look for limited slip differentials or LSDs. Now, when we do talk about the 996, there are a few that actually came to the country with a limited slip diff. It was part of the MO30 package, which also included lowering springs to reduce the ride height of the car. Now, sadly, my car didn't come with either of those, which meant it had no limited slip diff and also it looked like part build of a safari. But with the chassis amended with the Bilstein PSS 10s I had installed very soon after I purchased the car, all was left to do in the meantime was go for a slippy. Now before we deep dive into what's in the box, let's talk about limited slip differentials and what exactly they do. Well, the clue is in the title. It limits slip, maximizing cornering ability. For instance, if you have a wheel that's losing grip, it transfers that power to the wheel that has the most grip. Therefore, you shouldn't be skidding all over the place, which is pretty much what you want on the track. Now, there are plenty of options to go for. I could go for uh, a used MO30 limited slip diff, which will keep it nice and Porsche if I wanted to. There are aftermarket suppliers of plate type LSDs as well that I could use. I decided I didn't want to go for a plate LSD. The reason being is it's a serviceable item and I'm one of these people that, dare I say it, tends to forget things. I want minimal fuss, minimal effort and maximum gains. So there was only one real option for me after looking around. I managed to bag myself a Wavetrack ATB diff. Now the ATB stands for Automatic Torque Biasing. What that essentially means is it does not lose power from one wheel to the other like some differentials do. There is still some power transferred to even the slowest wheel. So it maximizes cornering ability. Plus it's a fit and forget system, which means great for me. After I fit it, I don't have to worry about it whatsoever. So shall we see what's in the box? Let's open it up. And here we have it, wave track differential. Now it has got some bite marks. I didn't get peckish, my dog did. But thankfully he only nibbled at the corners of the box 
rather than the ATB. Should we take a look? Instructions there. A ring. Wow, that's a hefty piece of kit. So it weighs quite a lot, as you can imagine. Uh, it's gonna have a lot of power transferring through it, so it needs to be up and capable of the job. So this is gonna be replacing my standard open differential that's in the vehicle. Now, I am gonna be sending this off to Right Tune, based in Oxfordshire. They are a fantastic independent who have been in business for over 20 years. And they're a good bunch of lads as well. But wait, there's more. A box. Now I know it says Lego. I kind of downsized the box it originally came in. But this is something special. This is a numeric shifter. Numeric racing are a business based out of Tampa in Florida, the USA was recommended that these guys know when it comes to shifters. Now, it may be unfamiliar to some of you, but the 996 does have a tendency to have a floppy knob, as it were. Uh, a loose shifter doesn't really feel strong when it comes to engagement. Sometimes as well, you may find that you can slip into a gear and no one likes an accidental slip. So the good thing is with numeric racing, you have an adjustable shifter on this and you're able to calibrate it to make it feel as long as you want. It's incredible and a wonderful piece of kit. And the fantastic thing about it is, unlike a CAE shifter, for instance, this goes underneath the standard gear knob and gator, so you do not even see that it's there. You do feel it though. Why do they make wrapping so tight? Wow. So it's the first time, as you can clearly see, that I've actually laid eyes on this in person. Build quality is absolutely immense. And you're probably wondering what these uh, cables are, and they are my transmission cables um, that lead from the actual shifter to the gearbox at the back. On here, you're able to adjust. This is the actual um, part of the shifter that connects to the gator and the gear knob and you're able to change the length and therefore the throw of the shift as well. Oops, I'll put it back. I just wanted to get a feel. Already like the build quality in this is, is so impressive. Like if you see, there's a, a good amount of lubrication in there. It's gonna get heavy use, so it's already pre-prepared for it. The look of it is fantastic. I appreciate that this is hidden, but it's that attention to detail that really sells it for me. And whenever you're spending good money on any sort of product for your car, you wanna make sure the build quality is up there. For me, I'm not gonna be able to tell you how good it is until it's installed in the car. So what we're gonna do is get this numeric shifter, the cables, and the wave track diff and get it over to right tune where they'll be able to install it for us and take us through some of the build process we find ourselves over in wonderful wallingford oxfordshire visiting the lovely right tune with this wonderful specimen of a man chris wright Hi hey chris how you doing all right mate. how are you good to see you too man yeah good all good man you. all good the wave track diff uh, which has uh, been purchased through this wonderful man now right tune are actual authorized dealers of wave track atb differentials so if you are interested in one get on the phone to right tune straight away uh, and also they'll be fitting my numeric racing shifter and shifter cables too um, so looking forward to that and also discussion moved on, not just those, but we're looking at brake upgrades. Yeah, that's right. Obviously you've got your track day coming up and you don't want to run out of brake. So whilst it's in, Sean's mentioned that his 
discs they're pretty worn out right yeah um and so we could be looking at perhaps just some new standard ones maybe up, upgrading the disc we're going to give you some options we'll talk sort of through the process as it's going through regular updates through email or over the phone also probably some upgraded pads um, and probably we're going to change the fluid so it doesn't boil the fluid on the track day as well as um, put some braided lines on there for better feel. Cool, so there's going to be quite an extensive upgrade to the brakes. Um, now, as Chris said, my brakes are kind of on the way out. It's not like it's a challenge or anything like that. <laughs> Post weekends. <laughs> You've got the timer. Yeah, got to remind myself. We, did we run out of time on that take? I like it. I'm going to keep <laughs> it in there. Because <laughs> this is how we roll. Now, as Chris said, with my brakes, why not just go and have an upgrade at the same time? You know, I've always thought buy cheap, buy twice. And also, what's the point of buying twice when you need to upgrade anyway? And we'll be updating you in due course, not just on here on YouTube, but also on Ren11's Instagram page, which is at Ren11. Also, make sure you follow right tunes instagram account which is at right tune w-r-i-g-h-t-u-n-e and if you're not doing it why don't you pause this video and do it now and come back thank you for coming back we will see you very 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 soon and uh, look forward to showcasing some of the results in due course take care be safe be good and much love cheers guys